this sound is now just as terrifying as the thunderous explosions of firearms and the roaring engines of tanks rumbling across the battlefield. The rapid advancement of technology has completely transformed the nature of warfare. Dozens, even hundreds of drones hover above soldiers, capable of striking them down in an instant. This method has proven highly effective, making it just as appealing for ground combat. And so begins the story of the Smart Combat Robot Project in the Russia-Ukraine War. At the Army 2024 Forum, Russia made a bold statement about the future of its military. Rostec, the state-owned defense company, unveiled several advanced robotic systems designed to enhance the country's combat capabilities. Among them were two standout innovations, the Depesha platform and the Caracal tracked robot. The Depesha was not just another battlefield robot, it was a versatile, multi-role platform designed for reconnaissance, logistics, and even direct combat. But what made it truly impressive was a new fiber optic control system, a game changer in electronic warfare. With modern conflicts increasingly relying on jamming and hacking to disrupt enemy drones and robots, this upgrade gave Depesha a critical advantage. By using a fiber optic connection, the system became immune to radio interference, ensuring that it could function even in the most contested battlefields. Alongside Depesha was the Caracal, a small but powerful tracked drone designed to handle ammunition transport, cargo delivery, reconnaissance, and fire support. Unlike traditional logistics vehicles, Caracal didn't require a human driver, meaning supplies could reach frontline troops without risking soldiers' lives. Russia had wasted no time in pushing these robots onto the battlefield. The project had only been launched in June 2024, but by December 2024, Rostec had already conducted live demonstrations of both systems. The tests were more than just technical trials, they were a statement of intent. Russia was making it clear that its military was evolving, adapting, and integrating robotics into its war strategy faster than ever before. Following the successful demonstrations, Rostec's executive director, Oleg Yevtushenko, confidently declared, The prototypes are already being used in the troops. They have proven themselves to be excellent. Their advantage is obvious. The most important goal that we set for ourselves, as weapons developers, is to save the lives of our soldiers. And robots solve this problem perfectly. For Russia, the logic was clear. By deploying robotic systems in combat, they could reduce human casualties and maintain their offensive strength without sacrificing soldiers. But as Russia pushed forward with its robotic warfare strategy, Ukraine was not far behind. Russia was focusing on long-term military modernization, Ukraine was working against the clock. The war had taken a heavy toll, and human casualties had become a critical concern. In response, Ukraine had set its sights on developing and deploying smart combat robots, a plan that had been in the works since 2023, but had only truly begun to take shape in 2024. Unlike Russia, Ukraine lacked massive state-run defense companies like Rostec, Instead, the country relied on international allies and private sector partnerships to accelerate its robotics program. With their support, Ukraine was finally able to turn its vision into reality. Lately, the German company ARX Robotics is integrating Ukrainian-made turrets into its ground robotic systems. The company is already supplying the Ukrainian Defense Forces with its UGVS with funding from the German government. The newest system is the engineers of the 3rd Assault Brigade have developed a kamikaze drone that uses TM-62 anti-tank mines instead of wheels. Prior to this, Ukraine being authorized for military use were some platforms. First, the Tarhan family, designed to transport ammunition, medical supplies, and other vital resources to frontline troops. With this system, Ukraine could ensure that soldiers received essential supplies without putting human drivers at risk. Another system is the Lyut robotic mini-tank, a small but heavily armed ground drone capable of engaging enemy targets. 
This machine provided fire support while keeping human operators safely away from the battlefield. Ukraine's strategy was clear. Use robotics to preserve human life while maintaining battlefield efficiency. Every mission these machines could complete meant fewer soldiers would be exposed to danger. The race for combat robots between Russia and Ukraine is not just about technology, it's about survival. Both countries understand that robotic warfare is the future, but their approaches reflect their unique challenges. The nature of modern war has changed, with drones, electronic warfare, and precision strikes becoming more critical than ever. Both sides are looking for ways to minimize human losses while maintaining firepower on the battlefield. For Russia, integrating autonomous and remotely controlled robots aligns with its long-term military modernization efforts. After facing heavy losses in Ukraine, Moscow understands that robots could help sustain its forces without continuously relying on human soldiers. Moreover, as electronic warfare becomes a bigger threat, Russia wants to ensure its robotic systems remain operational even in heavily contested battle zones. With a smaller military force and high casualty rates, Kyiv is racing to develop robotic systems that can assist its troops right now. Ukraine, facing a more immediate need, is focusing on rapid deployment. By using international partnerships and fast-track development, it aims to deploy effective robotic systems now, not years down the line. Every robot sent to the front lines is a chance to reduce human casualties and enhance military effectiveness. So, who will win the race? That remains to be seen. But one thing is certain. Warfare is changing. The days when battles were fought only by humans are fading. In their place, machines are taking over. The world is witnessing the dawn of robotic warfare, where soldiers may no longer be the only ones fighting on the front lines. And as Russia and Ukraine push forward in this technological arms race, they are shaping the future of modern combat, one robot at a time. So that's all for today. See you in the next update.